Paradise by the River is the latest production by Shadow Path Theatre. The play set in the 1940s deals with some of Canada's tainted history and treatment of Italian immigrants. Christina Cantarelli had a front row seat. Well, the final touches are made and the curtain is ready to open. We're at City Playhouse Theatre in Vaughan as one of their most unique productions takes to the stage. Italians are dangerous people. They're fascists. Wait a minute. Leave him alone. What are you doing this for? You guys see the prisoners from Quebec? That's what's good here. People don't go to a war because of a complaint they have. They have the law and it's respected. Tonight at the Vaughan City Playhouse, Shadow Path Theatre Productions is presenting Victoria Rossi's Ontario debut of Paradise by the River. It's a story of multiculturalism and Italian internment that happened during World War II in Canada. And it's not an event that's talked about a lot, so we're really proud to be bringing it to Ontario to this uh, place in Thornhill. It's about the Italian internment during World War II in Canada. What happened was, as soon as Mussolini declared war uh, on England, the Canadian government implemented a constitution of enemy aliens. So anyone who's of Italian descent or origin, even if they were born here in Italian, had uh, Canadian citizenship, they were all sent to an internment camp in Petawawa. Uh, guard overreact. These guards are overreacting. They're pushing us around. It's not right. A lot of it's full of uh, passion and struggle and just it's, it's history and it's family at its greatest because it centers around the family, the Italian cultural family. That's how they get through such, a, such an event. I play uh, the role of Luca Del Ferro. He's a Sicilian uh, prisoner of war. Um, he's a very disgruntled man. He believes that because he's Sicilian, he is not Italian and therefore should not be in the prison camp. They don't shy away from the risque pieces. Uh, this is a piece that um, um, deals with something that's very deep. A lot of theaters were, were, didn't really want to deal with this, with this subject. Um, we thank the city, the Vaughan City Playhouse, for letting us come here and do such a historical and deep and, and, and uh, deep piece, deep piece of, of something that really gets forgotten about or people hardly even know about this, uh, this injustice. It's supposed to be, it is anyone. There's been a mistake. My late father, uh, he was in the war in Italy, so I grew up around war stories and um, that whole era always fascinated me. I was uh, hired back in the early 90s to write a, a, a movie about this and it just never went anywhere. And I just took all that research and wrote a play. Can't you see that he's scared? Look at what they're doing. I was worried, you. These ideas never die when, you're, when an injustice is done to a group of people. Uh, I just think that it's, uh, those ideas uh, run the gamut of any culture or country. If the story is told well in an entertaining fashion, um, I think the audience will, uh, will have the audience's attention. Don't interfere with police business. I have warned you. Your rights were suspended the minute you declared war on this great nation. Shadow Path Theatre brings to life some of our history's most untold stories. For your next ticket, check out shadowpaththeatre.ca. I'm Christina Cantarelli, and that's York Region Living. Arcade.